Hi, it's Ken here. I'm a drone flight instructor with UAV Coach based in South Utah and previously Washington State. In this video, we've decided to take a look at some of the comments we received from our students of our hands-on flight training programs. We want to look at the reasons they gave us and take a look at what they were planning to do with the drone after the hands-on training. In many cases, students own their own drone, and in many cases, they don't. What we'll do today is we'll take a look at some of these comments and these reasons, and I'll give you my view on what's needed to carry out these student aspirations. We'll take a look and we'll do some drone comparisons in each one of these categories. So let's get started. Now to set some expectations, I'm only including drones manufactured by DJI or Autel, because these are drones I'm most familiar with. There are definitely other high quality drones such as Skydio and others that would work well in these categories. I'm also including only drones that are less than $2,500 for the premium kit, which includes things like three batteries and extra propellers and chargers, etc. And the premium controllers, if they're available for the drone. You might relate to some of these items on the list, or maybe you'll get some ideas from the list. My very first student said that they were preparing for a boating trip and they just wanted to learn more about how to operate the drone. We've had students who wanted to know more about UAVs and geographical information systems or GIS for environmental planning, drone photography and videography as a serious hobby, and form the foundation of future drone operations as required for building and roof inspections, preparing for surveying business, doing a roof spray business, doing construction project photography, flying over lakes or reservoirs, starting real estate business, capturing photos and video during snowboarding, hiking and kayaking. And we had a professional photojournalist who just wanted to go from being a beginner to an intermediate drone pilot. One of my students had a B&B &B business and wanted to use a drone for taking pictures of the business and use it for marketing purposes. After reviewing the reasons that students wanted training and assessing drone capabilities and cost, I determined that there's five categories of drone usage that apply to most people wanting to fly a drone. So let's take a look at these five categories. First is a person curious about drones and considering a very inexpensive drone purchase. Although you can find decent drones for around $100 or less, in my opinion, a person would be better off buying a DJI Mini SE for a little more money. You'll get great reliability and quality, and the drone will probably be much easier to fly, keeping you from getting frustrated by frequent crashes and possibly additional purchases. The Mini SE has 2.7K video and 12 megapixel photos for as little as $299. It also uses GPS positioning for easy flying. Second is for someone who wants to start drone photography and video as a serious hobby. If you're wanting to start drone photography and video while keeping costs down, you should probably consider the DJI Mini or the Autel Evo Nano drones. The Mini 2 or Mini 3 Pro and the Nano or Nano Plus drones both capture video in 4K and have similar features. These drones also have high quality photo resolution. The cost for the premium bundle on the Nano is $949 against $599 for the Mini 2. The third category is someone who's mostly considering drones as a hobby, but also is considering some commercial, mostly cinematic type of work. The Autel Evo Nano Plus and the DJI Mini 3 Pro fit the bill for a person mostly considering drones as a hobby, but also wanting to do some commercial, mostly cinematic work for their own purposes or for things like real estate listings. These drones both capture 4K video with several advanced features and intelligent flight modes, but still have the smaller sensors unlike the higher end drones. The Nano Plus is $1,099 for the premium bundle and the Mini 3 Pro is $1,008 with batteries that provide a 47 minute flight time. The Mini 3 Pro also has the option of a premium controller that's compatible with other models for a total of $1,158. Now let's take a quick break before going to category four and five to point out that there are laws that cover flying a drone in the United States. The Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, requires that all recreational pilots, those flying for fun, take a test before flying a drone. 
Now, spoiler alert, you can't fail the test. The test is called the trust test and UAV Coach is an administrator for that test. If you're planning to fly for commercial reasons, whether it's business reasons or nonprofit or anything that is considered commercial, then you must become a certified drone remote pilot under the FAA Part 107. UAV Coach does have a training program that prepares you for taking that test and guarantees that you will pass the test. There's a link for that down below as well. So let's get on with category four, a person getting serious about doing commercial work. The DJI Air 2S is a great drone for someone who's getting serious about drones and is just starting to find a variety of commercial work opportunities. The Air 2S captures video in 5.4K, it has a full one inch sensor and true 20 megapixel photos needed for some precision type commercial work. The Air 2S has many of the advanced features of the more expensive drones, but it doesn't have the option of long life batteries. The Fly More kit gives you the extra batteries and also includes ND filters needed for some cinematic applications. The Air 2S with the Fly More kit comes in at $12.99 and the RC controller available for the Mini 3 Pro is now compatible with the Air 2S. The fifth category is someone who's doing regular commercial work, both cinematic and precision flying. If a person is doing regular commercial work, both cinematic and precision, the Autel Evo Light Plus and the DJI Mavic 3 Classic drones are probably the best options for under $2,500. The Evo Light Plus captures 6K video with a one inch sensor, has an adjustable aperture and 20 megapixel photos with a variety of features that can be used for both cinematic and precision flying environments for commercial purposes. The Mavic 3 Classic has a four thirds sensor camera and captures 5.1K video, 20 megapixel photos and has adjustable aperture as well. The flight time is 46 minutes as compared to 40 minutes on the Light Plus. The Evo Light comes in at $1,849 for the premium bundle, and the Mavic 3 Classic comes in at $2,248 with the Fly More kit. The Mavic 3 is also compatible with the RC controller that's available for the Mini 3 Pro. Now, what some people don't realize is that when you're doing regular commercial work with a drone, whether it's real estate or weddings or roof inspections, you're best off having more than one drone that's capable of carrying out that mission. Drones can have issues or maybe you crash or something like that. And if you're in the middle of a job, that can cause big problems and big anxiety. I know that from personal experience. So having a drone that's capable of carrying out that mission in addition to your original drone can help alleviate some of that anxiety and allows you to continue the work without worrying about the first drone. So that's all for this video. Please leave us your comments and your thoughts below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the UAV Coach channel. And until next time, all of us here at UAV Coach wish you blue skies and safe flying. And we'll see you next time.